Good evening everybody, it is Sunday 9 o'clock at night, the markets should be opening in an hour or two. I hope everybody had a good weekend. Uh, I was hoping for a rest, unfortunately I had quite a few jobs to do, so uh, I did manage to spend a few hours away from the computer, which I am happy about. Uh, but I'm back here now doing um, a review of the markets. There's quite a few currency pairs that I'm interested in. Uh, of course, this may all change when the market opens due to the, I won't say erratic movement of the markets over the last week, but the very directional moves. It wouldn't surprise me if we saw some gaps in the market, which, which would ruin my analysis. Um, but I've got half a dozen pairs here, something like that, that I will be keeping an eye on uh, come Monday morning. Uh, doing these reviews might be something I start doing on a regular basis. Uh, I'm going to call them a quick hit review where I'll quickly run through the trade setups. I don't want these videos to be very long because if I do do them every day or every couple of days, people go to work and they're busy in the morning. I'd like to try and get them down to maybe five or ten minutes and just point out some things that I'm actually looking at. So let's start off here on the Aussie dollar CAD and we're on the dailies and like a lot of the currency pairs we are still moving very directionally. Let's put a structure level on at our very lows of our structure level and we have a confirmed break below close below here. Now our next structure level is here but our lower structure level is a lot further down. Now one thing I would say is that typically we do tend to test the lower structure level but uh, and I do think that we could do that however we have been moving very very directionally here and the only pullback we've had is this. Uh, typically when we see a directional move we will usually pull back to at least a 38.2. Um, when we do that in a heavy trend that's typically a sign that we can look at the 38.2 as an area to get short for the trend continuation. So since the RSI as well is oversold here at 15, I would expect to see a reaction at this structure level. We do also have a 9200 psychological number. So I would expect some kind of a reaction here, maybe a reversal uh, to a 38.2, which would actually come into maybe this structure level might be a 38.2 from this leg. Yep. Um, and then maybe look for a continuation down to that level. Let's go and take a look at the lower time frames. 240. You can see that we've just had a just a drop here, just some nice lower, lower, lower close candles. 60. Pay attention to this. Here on the 60, this is the outside return I would pay attention to. Wait for the pullback. Wait for a lower, lower, lower close candle. Play for two targets. One target, a retest of the lows. And then you're going to want to move to break even. And then you're going to want to play for that 9200 psychological number. Uh, maybe for the extension as well. Aussie dollar USD is another one moving directionally. There wasn't a great deal. There hasn't been a great deal on the Aussie dollar for me. And the reason for that is because of this big wick here. Technically, until we violate the lows of this wick, we do not have a confirmed break below, close below. Now, that's not to say that we can't get involved in any trend trades, but it does mean they're going to be lower probability because this big wick shows lots and lots of buying pressure and it's somewhere here. Some point here, there's lots and lots of buying pressure. So we want to be a little bit cautious. But in saying that, if we drop down to the 240, uh, you can see, see very, very, very directional, 60, 15, I think there was something on the 15. Yeah, just this, we are tr uh, trending nicely, new low, outside return, new low, outside return, new low, outside return, new low, outside return, new low, look for an outside return look for a pullback into the outside return, should I say, and a chance to get short. Um, I would be, uh, I would feel happier taking a trend continuation trade on the 15 than the 60 or the 240. Um, there's less risk and um, it's a quick, quicker trade, potentially since we could see a reversal at any point. So if we can get an entry here with tight stops, I will get involved in the 15 and on every outside return as we come lower like this 
I will just simply be moving my stop behind the outside return. So here's the outside return, here's the outside return, and just manage the trade down. Whereas on the 60 or 240, you're having to wait for 60 minute candles or 240 candles. And if you're waiting for trend trades on the 240, you're talking about days, and I wouldn't be confident um, waiting to move to break even for that period of time. So, uh, but I'll be quite happy there on the 15 to take a trend trade if that's still available on Monday morning. Euro Yen on the dailies. I've got here a, a reversal. So we are down at our structure levels just here. We are at the closes of the candles. Now we did just tap the oversold. And if we zoom in, then what we can see here is the sideways movement. And if you look at this candle wick here, this hammer, uh, we've held that level. So these are all indecision. Indecision, 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 indecision. This is a battle that's going on. Once again, we have not hit a 38.2 fib after coming into uh, a, a, a very good structure level. And this has just been a directional move. Uh, is that an AB equals CD pattern? Because if it is, I missed it. Uh, well, there we go, guys. Look at that AB equals CD pattern. Uh, we have a 1618 extension there. This video might just be over 10 minutes long. I'm just going to draw this out because this is going to be a trading opportunity. Coming into major structure, uh, we did go oversold on the RSI 1618. Do we have any other fib confluence there? We would go our swing low to swing high. We've got a 61.8 a little lower down. We've got, if we invert that leg, no, I'm not happy doing that. No, okay. Uh, let's drop down the time frames then to the 240. There was a potential head and shoulders setting up here. Wasn't the prettiest, but we had a pullback. Then we've had a new low. Okay, sorry guys, had to pause the video. My pizza was done. Uh, well, my pizza for me and my son, because the wife and the daughter have flown back to England to go to a concert. So uh, a little bit of supper, uh, spicy chicken. <laughs> so where was I? Okay, uh, I am very interested in this AB equals CD pattern. Uh, I'd missed it, but that adds to the confluence of this potential head and shoulders. So we've got to move lower. Um, then we've got a move lower a gain. So we've got a left shoulder ahead and look at what we've just done here. We saw a pullback. We came lower. If I bring this structure level down, look at what we've done here. We've actually held the left shoulder and put in a three bar reversal. So this is the left shoulder here. Just let me double check that we have not violated that. And we'll come down into oh do you know what we violated it okay yeah we violated the right shoulder that's a shame because if we'd actually held this uh, i could have entered when the market opened based on a three bar reversal um, we can now wait for a few things for this we can wait for the market to continue higher like this and violate this level of structure and giving us an initial structure high. However, because we have come into a major level of structure, because we did go oversold, because we have put in a three bar reversal here, I can be more aggressive and enter without the initial structure high. And the way that I can do that is look at what we're doing here. Price has moved higher, we've seen a pullback. From this candlestick formation, this three bar reversal, it looks as though we're going to continue higher. And if we violate this level of structure just here, then I will be able to enter aggressively because this will be a three point move. One, two, three. And with that three point move, we violate structure. So I can be more aggressive again because we're at major structure, the RSI confirmation, the AB equals CD pattern, a three point move. Let's just go down to the 60 and 50 and see if there's anything like a double bottom or anything like that. Uh, nope. 
uh, 15 is a little too low because this is a 240 uh, time frame pattern so let's just go back to the 240 so uh, the way I would handle this is this is an AB equals CD pattern so fib based target so from our swing high to our swing low we're going to want to leave just the 38.2 and 61.8 fibs on there and what we can then do is get an idea of what the risk reward will be so if this is going to be our entry here once we've got a three point move and a break above close above that will be our entry stops are going to be um, we're going to want to be 15 pips underneath that psychological number we've got 12200 and uh, our target unfortunately is going to be that so while that is a good trading opportunity waiting for that three bar reversal is not going to be any good so what we do is we wait for something better so dropping back down to the 60 um, maybe some form of entry down here if we come back and maybe put in a double bottom though there's no RSI confirmation so that's going to be a, a trading opportunity that we'll simply just have to wait for uh, see if what happens with price and see if we can get an entry on that so uh, no go on that one at the moment I'm afraid thought it was going to be uh, something better than that but isn't pound Aussie we're waiting to violate structure this is interesting so we've had a nice rally up and we are now seeing the market come lower I would pay attention here for a potential flag pattern however it's very likely going to be over and above my 100 pip maximum uh, on the 240 on the 240 I would take the leg from here I would take the leg like that may not even be valid on the 240 oh no yeah could be valid on the 240 uh, but what really interests me is this so we've been working our way lower we saw a pullback then we go to the 60 because there's nothing else on the 240 um, then what we did was we saw a move like this we saw another move lower we saw a pull back to here and then this was a new low uh, it looks a bit of a mess but this is actually a new low here on the 60 and if I go to show you this is the key level here of structure that I would pay attention to this is the area where I would expect the market to come to if you look at it on the 240 this is a key level and there's nothing here once we violate this level here there's nothing stopping us coming down to this level this is the pound Aussie of course so lots and lots of pips in it there's easily 70 to 100 pips worth of movement here I'm going to drop to the 15 and show you exactly what I'm looking at I'm going to put, put a structure level in zoom out a little reposition this we have one test two three four we are currently testing for a fifth time and um, when this happens we've got our high here we've got lower high lower high lower high indication here that we're going to break through now uh, with this number of tests it's very likely we're going to break through with some force so maybe you want to set a limit order here with stops above this area or if you're a bit more conservative maybe you want to wait for the breakout a pullback and treat it as a simple pullback trade and look to get short uh, my targets would certainly be that lower level let me go to the 60 so that we can see them yeah my targets would certainly be uh, around the 140 184 50s as very very conservative that maybe even down here at the 18400 uh, we can throw some fibs on there just to get a bit more of an indication as to where the pr price could come to so we can put an inversion on we see that 1618 coming into that 18450s level that I've just spoken about uh, we can look at an extension from this leg 
and look at that we have a 127 down in this area as well so uh, that psychological number 184.50s is certainly where I'd look for uh, targets certainly initial targets and that's worth around 60 pips and maybe then hold secondary targets if you want to um, play for that extension pound yen this video is going to be a lot longer than I wanted uh, I wanted a quick hit 10 minute video um, unfortunately there's quite a lot on the radar so here we are pound yen again after last week we're seeing lots and lots of bearish moves particularly on the pound pairs this was our structure low we violated it pay attention to this level though right here I'm going to bring that structure level down to the lows we have come into it it is historical structure however this is a major level of structure the RSI is currently oversold and we are at 140 flat so do not be surprised if we see some sort of a reaction here once again this leg has been directional there's been no pullbacks at all so I am expecting some relief out of these markets nothing on the 240 let's go to the 60 uh, nothing really on the 60 you can see how directional we've been new low outside return new low outside return this was a lovely pattern lovely triangle that we uh, won on uh, Thursday Friday we had the break lower typically with these patterns if there is room to the downside you will see price come back to the middle of these patterns and then a chance to short it but I would be very very cautious about shorting this market due to the fact that we could see a reversal nothing there in the 15 uh, pound dollar has a butterfly lovely lovely butterfly I think it was on the dailies Just check it out yeah look at this thing look at this beauty I took um, I take very very few butterfly patterns but I had one on Wednesday or Thursday on the pound Aussie I banked 51 pips in about an hour on it it was beautiful came into structure uh, looking at, at a minimum of a 127 there are two ways to work the um, butterfly the other way let me just bring this over uh, you can work them at both 127 extensions uh, the first one is this one I think this is the this is probably where most people trade butterflies at the 127 here um, you can also trade them at the extension the second 127 and as you can see that's still coming into structure um, but you can have these butterflies valid all the way down to the 1618 and that's where our structure level is so I'd be very cautious about taking that particularly with it being on the daily time frame uh, we don't know where it's going to turn here on the 240 very directional once again no pullbacks this market cannot continue to go lower without retracing majority of time to a 38.2 there is a good 180 pips up for grad grabs if we could see a reversal like that so on the 240 structure level on just here at our lows we have violated them we are oversold at 9.8 we do have another key level just here of structure and we are almost at it with us being oversold um, and coming into this psychological number 12700 and no retracement I would expect to see a reaction at this zone this is what I'm going to be paying attention to going into next week um, 60 nothing 15 not a great deal maybe drop down to the lower time frames and look for a little lower time for a trading opportunity but again I would be aggressive here with the um, with moving to break even or trailing stops just in case the market decides to suddenly reverse um, so uh, the last one dollar CAD lovely trend continuation trade on the 15 minutes but let's take a look at the dailies and I'll talk about this for a long time we still have our head and shoulders just here we do have room for price to come up to this level we have two breakout patterns we have one here on the daily time frame looking like this a nice wedge pattern we've already had the confirmed breakout so do expect this market to rally and we have another pattern just here consolidating 
just like that. Let's go to the 240. Uh, right, this is a lovely, lovely sign for this pattern. So here is the leg. I'm just validating it. Actually, this, oh, look at that, it is valid. Okay, I need one side to at least not touch the closes of the candles. So this does touch the closes of the candles. This does not by a few pips. Um, and so this is a valid opportunity for me. And this is what I like to see. We had the violation up here. We broke above the structure level, but we instantly got rejected with a big bearish candle. But instead of following through with lots and lots of momentum, what we see is, uh oh, we tried to push lower, but look at what we did. We put in a long wicked indecision candle. Okay, so if we drop down to the time frames and there's any kind of confluence here, structure, anything like that, that would give us confirmation that this level is going to hold, it could act as an entry reason. And if I put a structure level on, uh, it really isn't that much. We have minor, minor 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 level that's all no rsi confirmation so if you're going to be super aggressive here on the 240 i would wait for a higher high higher close but you got nowhere really to put stops other than down here so opportunities but nothing that i'm eager to jump into and i'm really just going to be waiting for the market to open and take another look at it uh monday morning so quick hit trading unfortunately it's been 22 minutes long uh, i'll try to make the next videos shorter but obviously it depends if there is anything around in the market